Hello everybody. I just wanted to come on today and encourage you in your faith. Today, as I was driving, the Holy Spirit uh, downloaded some scripture into my heart that I really wanted to share and um, in a personal way and how God's using this in my own life, um, just from my heart. So this scripture is Hebrews verse uh, chapter 12 verses 1 through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross disregarding its shame now he is seated in the place of honor besides God's beside God's throne so the this the key part here that I feel like the Holy Spirit really um, highlighted to me is keeping our eyes on Jesus and um, the more that God shows me this in my own personal life as I practice it and in throughout my day, refocus, put my eyes back on Jesus. Um, I see how important it is that we do this. Um, God never intended us to do this life on our own. We can't do anything apart from him, um, let alone do our whole lives apart from him. And he really wants us to invite him throughout our days. And he wants us to look to him for help. He is the one who initiated our faith. He is the one who perfects our faith. And he is the one who is going to finish our faith. It is not a work of ourselves. Um, so the pressure's off. But we do need to look to him. I realize the more I look to Jesus, the more I look at Jesus and take my eyes off of all the other things, the things I don't understand, the things that look big in my life, I realize as I begin to magnify the Lord in my life that all of those things just become very small, you know? It might seem like a big thing um, when you're staring at it and facing it face to face and, and you just keep looking at it and evaluating it and trying to figure it out. But when you begin to really look, just keep your gaze upon Jesus um, all those things become so small because truly he is so big. He's a big God. I mean, he he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He is a very big God. And um, the key really is in this life to look to Jesus, to keep your gaze fixed on Jesus and trust that he is going to, um, he's got the outcome already figured out, and um, he will give you such a, a, a grace and an ease to go about your life and your days and the things that used to be so big in your eyes, he'll make them so small because he is so wonderful, he's so great, and he's a big God. So my encouragement today to you is keep your gaze on Jesus. He loves you. He wants to take the heavy load off of you. Um, but you got to give it to him. And you got to look to him. And you got to trust him. And I love this part. For the joy set before him. We are his joy. He loves us uh, so much. And he wants nothing more than for us to come to him. Um, and look to him as our father our heavenly father so um everybody you have a blessed night i hope this encourages you and keep your eyes fixed on jesus good night